Hi guys, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a battery test on your car. Obviously it's a winter time so batteries tend to get a bit weaker and if they are already weak then they're really going to show. So first thing you need is a multimeter, your car and being able to open your bonnet. Get that done. This is a multimeter. Got it from eBay. I'll send a link in the description for you. What you can do is obviously do it on a cold engine or if you, can, if you have just driven and you decide, you know what, I'm watching the video on my lunch break, I'm going to check. Um, it's all right, it's not a problem. All you want to do is just make sure that your battery is holding the charge and find out firstly, your battery is like, I don't know, resting heart rate. So just its normal um, rate without load. You put your negative on your negative. Don't know if it's gonna fit, but yeah, negative over there and your positive over here. Uh, you flick it on, first of all, flick it on. I've got mine here set to 20. So I'm gonna put it to 20 volt because it's a 12 volt battery. So there you go, giving me some details over there. I don't know how well you can see it. There we go, zero, zero. Now if I touch this here to the battery, you can see there my battery is around 12.6, 12.5. I'd say 12.5, rounding it up. So it's 12.5, that's when it's off. Now when I turn it on, so I'm gonna crank the engine on and then I'm gonna come and check the voltage uh, while the, when, the, back, when the, the engine's running. So now as you can hear, my engine is in fact running and you can see it's charging. So the alternator is fine because it's charging the battery. It's going all over the shop. If I just rest over here properly, you can see my battery is in fact charging and the correct rate is here. Let me just make sure it's on. There we go. So around 14. I've got a faulty little, um, uh, my cable is quite hard to hold the camera and hold that same. But as you can see, it's charging at 14, which is good. So now, what you want to see, if you're having trouble starting your car in the morning, etc. Actually, let me turn this engine on because I'm shouting, I sound like a crack it. Okay. So, if you're having trouble starting your battery in the morning, what you want to do, you want to, in fact, connect this up. Obviously, if you've got two people, this is amazing. If not, you've just got to try and wait to try and record it. And your battery should be around 12 volts. But when you go to crank it up, it probably will drop a, like around 10. So there's a lot of things that are drawing the current from the battery. But then it should boost right back up and hit 14 straight away. If it goes below 10, then you know you've got a problem with your battery. Because obviously, your starter's trying to start it. Starter's fine. But your battery's just weak and it just is not got enough cranking amps. In short, put it this way. Don't believe the cranking amp business, just keep it nice and sweet. In other words, I'm a young guy, I'm 26 years old, I can ride a bike. Standing still, I'm 12 volts. Decent. Now, you ask me to get on a bike and ride it, it's cool. But now, put a rucksack on my back filled with bricks from wicks or something. I'm going to struggle to start getting them first couple of yards. That's what your battery's doing. You've given it loads of load to deal with. Because it's 26 years old, it can handle it. That's a good battery. Now, give my granddad the same thing. 60 year old man. Tell him, you know what? Get on a bike take this load he's going to struggle those few first few meters are going to be bad so that's how your battery is the older it gets the harder it's going to deal with load very very simple old man bike bricks on his back that's not fair and then you've got to replace your battery so i'm going to set this up so you can see this little monitor and i'm going to crank it over and hopefully it doesn't go below 10. if it does then my suspicions will be correct and i need a new battery so yeah okay so engine off as you can see it is on 12.3 and it's dropping which isn't a good sign because no radio is on nothing nothing so nothing's really getting a draw from the battery so now i'm going to crank it over and let's see whether it drops below 10 volts whoa so as you can see that is 7.61 volts not good so poor little granddad of a battery has i don't know he's been on the car since it's been born and he's obviously lived a hard life. I haven't really got anything I'm really drawing the current, like to draw that much current from the battery. But as you could see, when I flicked it to the ignition, it did drop to 12.1. So maybe it's the new radio I installed on the car. Maybe it's the LED bulbs I've got on the in the in the headlamps. Maybe it's the LED interior lights. I don't know. But I definitely need a new battery because its resting heart rate is okay, but 12.6 is better than 12.3. And obviously 7.61. Poor little granddad needs again nobly. Get him down the bingo hall, let him relax. So yeah. So as you can see, after cranking it did go back up to 14 point whatever you want, 14 point one, 14 point two, which is a good sign because that means it, it is charging and it's it's holding like it's it, it does hold a charge. But best advice, if your battery's doing the same thing as mine, get a new one before you're stranded, because obviously if you've got an automatic and you're not hench, you can't push that 
for nothing. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned.